What is ISO? What's up? Welcome back. If it's your first time here, my name's Lewis, also known as Mr. Camera Junkie. I'm a photographer based out of Hollywood, Florida, and today we're going to be breaking down ISO. Before digital cameras, we mostly used 35mm film cameras. The price of film is mostly determined by the speed of the film itself. Film speed is labeled on the film cartridge. The higher the number, the higher the price. This is because the higher film speed has higher sensitivity to light. Higher sensitivity film allows you to capture photos in low light. This is because you'll need less light to burn the image onto the film. Thus, the higher price tag. High sensitivity film could have higher levels of grain visible in the photos or lead to overexposed photos when shot in direct sunlight. For daylight photography, one would choose a slower film speed that is better suited for daylight photos. Slower film speed has less sensitivity, so it takes more light to expose the image correctly, making it better for daylight or flash photos, also resulting in photos with less grain giving a cleaner overall image. Moving now to digital cameras, we have the ability to change the ISO with every single photo. Lower ISO settings give the cleanest images and are best suited for outdoor and flash photos. If you find yourself in a low light situation, you'll need to increase your camera's ISO to make your camera sensor more sensitive to light. <laughs> you can think of ISO as increasing sensitivity output. ISO. But just like faster film speed, increasing the ISO adds a grain-like artifacting that we call digital noise. Digital noise. Sounds like a rock band from the 90s. The fact that auto ISO can change the exposure on every single photo still amazes me. Imagine if we still had to carry around a bunch of different film stock just to have different ISO speeds available. So remember, ISO. Increasing sensitivity output. It's not what it stands for, but it's just an easy way to help you remember what it does. YouTube doesn't let me know who watches my videos, but if you leave me a question or a comment, I can respond and get to know you a little bit better. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for buying a Camera Junkie t-shirt. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.